We're about to solve an inequality. Remember when solving an inequality that when you multiply through or divide through by a negative number, not a positive number, but a negative number, you must reverse the direction of your inequality symbol. Other than that, the steps for solving an inequality are the same as the steps for solving an equation. So keep that in mind as we solve this inequality. Do we have any fractions? No. Do we have any parentheses? Yes. So let's take a step and remove them by using the distributive property. 3 times 2x, that's 6x, minus 21 minus 4x is greater than, if you'd like, you can think of that as negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x, or simply negative x, and then negative 1 times a positive 6 is negative 6. I'll write minus 6. Do we have any terms that we can combine? The answer is yes, because here I've got 6x minus 4x, and that's 2x, and then minus 21 is greater than negative x minus 6. Now let's go ahead and take a step. We'll use the addition property for inequalities. I will add x to both sides of my inequality. So here's the left side. I will add x. Here's the right side. And I will add x. Look what happens on the left side. 2x plus x, that's 3x still minus 21 is greater than these x's subtract out and I have negative 6. And now I have my variable term on the left side. I will add 21 to both sides and I'll have my constants on the right side. So I'm rewriting the left side. I will add 21 and now I'll rewrite the right side and I will add 21. Notice what happens on the left side. The 21 subtract out like we want, and we have 3x is greater than negative 6 plus 21, and negative 6 plus 21 is 15. How do I finish solving? I divide both sides by the coefficient of x, and I'm dividing by positive 3, so I do not need to reverse the direction of this inequality symbol. So I have x is greater than 15 divided by 3 is 5. All numbers greater than 5 are solutions to our original equation. Now I'd like to write this using interval notation. For some of you, it may help to think of what this looks like on a number line. All numbers greater than 5 here would be 5 on a number line, and greater than 5, I place a parenthesis at 5, and I would shade to the right. There I've shaded all numbers greater than 5. Sometimes looking at the graph helps write in interval notation, because we write down what we've shaded. It would be 5 with a parenthesis about 5, and notice I've shaded all the way to infinity. So here's my solution, all numbers greater than 5, and I've written the solution set in interval notation.